Hello everybody, I'm Nasty Mold, and in this video we're going to find all of these seasonal candles for today, do the daily quests, find the treasure cakes, and get information on today's shard event in the Daylight Prairie. First up, of course, we're going to get these seasonal candles. We do have four of these little bundles to find. Each one will give us 25% of the wax needed to forge a season candle, so finding all four will give us one total candle. We of course have two in the home space. One in front of this little cave by the Wing of Light, and then one all the way over here near the village exit. It's kind of hidden under this unclaimed Wing of Light I have here. Easy peasy to find. And all of these should give us one total season candle. With that done, let's get started on today's daily quests. To rid the Sanctuary Vortex of darkness, we first have to head to the Sanctuary Island. This can be done by teleporting from the Nature Guide, or you can fly all the way there, but that would be a very, very long time. Teleporting from the Nature Guide also puts us on the island where we need to be for this quest. So here's the Nature Guide, and we're just going to keep going around the left-hand side until we see a little light creature stuck in the sand. This is a brand new light creature. We just have to burn the darkness and they are free. There should be a little icon above their heavy compress, and this will start to initiate the quest. The light creature will bring us all the way to the vortex. So we just follow them along deep into the ocean over here. And then all the way in the distance, you might be able to spot some trash. This is where we're headed, and we are going to clean up that garbage. Once you get close, we might have a little cutscene, but it is a skippable cutscene if you need to. Sanctuary Vortex, skip. And then we're going to head to this boat over here where the Anxious Angler is. You can skip their interaction as well. Basically, they've noticed all the trash in the sea and they're wondering if anyone would pick it up, and that is us. Now we just have to sit down at this meditation spot, and this will start the quest. There's going to be quite a few pieces of trash to collect, and we also have to free some of the manatees. So you can call to spot them if you need to. Otherwise, we're just going to swim around, find them. Some of them might be underwater too. So you may have to dive to find some of the trash. And some of them may take a couple taps to actually grab. You might have to rearrange where you are. Sometimes they slip past you. They can be somewhat finicky, but altogether not too hard. We're gonna free the mantas too. The vortex looks pretty cool. This one kept um, bringing me down and then up when I bright pushed it. It was very weird. Just let me free it. There we go. And doing that would complete our quest. And as an extra reward, we have this giant shell over here that we can open and get some wax. Yay, quest is complete. The green light is a bit tricky to find. It can be found in the prairie bird's nest area, which is the rightmost area when you go down that cloud tunnel. The only thing is it will be flying in the air for quite a while and it will be unreachable. So I'm gonna stay here. This is where it will eventually fall. If we look up, you can see some mantas carrying a dim green light. They're gonna go around a few times, usually about, uh, I think it's five, four or five times in a circle. And then eventually they will drop it, and it should slowly fall in this area. Today's spirit tree live is the bird whisperer, which we can find in the bird's nest. This spirit is super easy to relive. They're just on this little tower the rightmost one when you enter. 
and we just have to follow them up the tower. It's gotta go across, and then up. It is probably easier if you're actually walking along it, but I was impatient, so I flew for most of it. Ah, and then I fell for some of it. This is the final checkpoint right here, and this spirit is done. To recharge your light from a jellyfish, you first have to lose all of your light, and then we're just gonna walk into it, or jump into it, however you get there, and recharge. This can be done on any jellyfish, it doesn't actually have to be in the hidden forest. Today's treasure candles can be found in the hidden forest. Our first one is up here in the social space. Our next one can be found in the rainy forest just to the left inside this little tree here. Just before the broken bridge, we can find this little tree tunnel here where we'll find our third treasure candle for today. And finally, our very last one is at the end of the hidden forest past the temple in the little sunny forest. Today's shard is a black shard which should fall in the broken temple area of the Golden Wasteland. This one is pretty easy and it will award us with regular candles. As far as I'm aware, it can be found in three different spots but it could be more. Um, so we have one over on the left side there, one in the middle on this little uh, dirt pile here, right around here, and then one far ahead over by where the uh, sapling is during the sapling quest. The shards will fall on the times displayed on the screen now, and uh, this is in PDT or PST time, so if you'd like to change it into your own time zone, I do have a converter linked below in the description with the times written out there as well. So this is the final area where these shards should be able to drop. And yeah, get yourself some regular candles today. And that is all of today's daily changes in the Daylight Prairie. Thank you so much as always for watching you guys. I hope you found this helpful. I hope you enjoyed, and I will, of course, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.